Optimization. Optimization is the focal topic in managerial economics. We're going to learn how to optimize functions using firstly what is calculus by differentiating dy dx the formula is n a x n minus one so this means that if you are differentiating 4x to the power 3. What do you get? Differentiating 4x to the power 3, what do you get from that formula? So if you're going to differentiate this, you put dy dx. So here we're going to have 12x to the power 2. So what are you there? 12x. From there. To the power 2. So we're starting from the basic uh, computation before we go to the complex ones. All right. So dy, if we have uh, 4 x to the power seven plus three x to the power five plus two x to the power three plus five x plus ten. Once you try to differentiate this, it will be dy over dx. Uh -huh. What are we going to have? Dumba, what are we having? Four times seven is what? 28. X to the power six. Then here, what do we have? Somebody try. Fifteen X to the power. Oh. Oh. X to the power four, then. Six x to the power two. Mm -hmm. Then five. So here we multiply these two with eight subtracted one from there. These we multiply these two 15 subtracted one. Mm -hmm. Here six and subtracted one from there. Is the invisible one? One times five is five. One minus one is zero. The ten falls out as the what? The constant. Anyone lost so far? All right. You said the 10 because you can just say that again. The 10 uh, has no letter, so it falls out as a constant. Okay. Oh, okay. So if you have 10, P is equal to 170 minus 5Q. This will be dP over dQ, which is equal to 170 falls out. Then this is simplify negative. All right, together. Somebody try. What about if you have TR? TR stands for total revenue. 170Q minus 5Q squared. Anything that has a T, when you differentiate it, it becomes an M. So the TR, you differentiate the letter on what the. Is Yes. Collins, sorry, I've been behind the previous uh, equation you gave us. So on the previous equation here, we have P is equal to 170 minus 5Q. So we're differentiating- Okay, so 170. We're differentiating the letter on the left side against the letters on the right side. So it is oh, okay. over dQ. Anything that doesn't have the letter, it will fall out as a constant. So the 170 is out. So negative 5Q, if it has just one letter to the power one, it becomes negative, the same number. So negative 5q is negative 5. 
negative 10 q is negative 10. Is that clear? Yes, it's very clear. Thank you. So here this will be the TR over the Q. TR stands for total revenue. When differentiated, the name will be marginal revenue. So here we're going to have 170 Q is 170. 100 Q is 100. 20 Q is 20. And here, minus 5 Q squared will give you minus 10 Q. Okay, before I go, I want you to try this one here. What is 85 minus 2.5 Q squared? Who wants to lead us? Okay, can I can I try? Hello? Yes, you can try. Sure, sure. Okay, so try. so we have uh, the TR over the Q, mm -hmm. which will, will equate to the marginal revenue. Good. Firstly, which will be take your time because we're on the knee. The TR, because it is on the left side, over the Q. Mm -hmm. Since this is got total revenue, the name will now change to what? Marginal revenue. Uh -huh. That one will equate it to the um, since the the eighty five the, the eighty five Q there is to the power one, we'll have eighty five. So here we're going to have which is equal to eighty five. Eighty five. Uh huh. Minus. Then the 2.5, we multiply it by the two there, which is the power of Q. We'll have the five. Yeah. Then, then the Q, since it's to the power two, one Q will fall off, we'll have Q. Oh, we're going to have minus five Q. Is she right? Yes, she is. Okay, so I'm still on the demand function. All right, the demand function price equal to A minus BQ. So we can get five things from here. Number one, TR is called the total revenue. So you're able to get what? Price times quantity. Number two, average revenue is when we divide the total revenue divided by quantity. Then the third thing, marginal revenue is when we differentiate what? Total revenue. Then the fourth thing is our marginal revenue. When we get to zero, we find the highest or the maximum point. That is the fourth thing. The fifth thing is marginal revenue. The shortcut will be. It is a bit low. All right. Let me increase my volume. I'll remove the microphone. Am I audible enough without the mic? Yes, you are very clear now. Okay, so now uh, marginal revenue is five key points. So let's start with this formula. If our price is equal to 170 minus five Q, from the formulas that we have here, can somebody tell me how do we find the total revenue? Price times what? Quantity. All right. Price times. Mm -hmm. Our price is one seventy. Our quantity has not been given. We impute it. So when we apply this, we're going to get one seventy Q minus five Q squared. This is called our what? 
not to All right. Then when we go to average revenue, anything divided by quantity is called average. So the T, if we divide it by quantity, is called average revenue. So we have our total revenue as what? 170 Q minus 5 Q. We just calculated the total revenue just now. So if we divide by Q, divide by Q, we're going to get 170 minus 5 Q. Then our total revenue, again, with, we already found it at 170 Q minus 5 Q squared. So we've already established that when we differentiate, our marginal revenue is simply when we differentiate the what? The total revenue. Total revenue differentiated, change in total revenue over change in what? Quantity. The same as TTR over the Q. So 170 Q becomes 170. 5 Q squared becomes 10 Q. So this is what we call the marginal revenue. So it's simply going through these five points I've given you. The marginal revenue can differentiate the total revenue against the quantity. So we found our total revenue here 170 Q minus 5 Q squared. So meaning the marginal revenue will be 170 minus 10 Q. This is 170, this is 10 Q. Okay. Now the marginal revenue has two formulas. Marginal revenue sometimes will simply be A minus 2 BQ. <clears throat> if you're in a hurry, since our price was what? Price was 170 minus 5Q. Just multiply a 2 here. That's all. Don't bother yourself. So this will give us 170. On the five, just multiply it to becomes 10 Q. This is the easiest way you could find the total revenue. The price function on the B, which is the number, the letter number comes before the Q. So we're going to have our marginal revenue the same. Okay, what is remaining to maximize the revenue? Revenue maximization, simply finding the highest points that will give you the highest revenue. Remember our price is what? 170 minus 5Q. So step one, you find the function that you want to find the function that you want to maximize. Find the function. What is function are you looking at? The total revenue. Whenever you want to maximize total revenue, the point find the function. So we have 170 Q minus 5 Q squared. Step two, we differentiate. When you differentiate the total revenue, it becomes what? Marginal revenue. So what is our marginal revenue? 170 minus 10 Q. Step three, equate to what? To zero. To zero. MR, when you get it to zero, we're going to have 170 minus 10Q. Step four, solve for what? For P and Q. So when this one comes aside, we're going to have 10Q is equal to 170. So when divide by 10 both sides, our Q is what? 17. Then we go to the price here, where there is P, where there is Q, put 17. So here we're going to have P is equal to 170 minus 5Q. So here we put 17. So our price here will be found as what? 85. So this is how we optimize. This is what is called optimization. 
to optimize is to find the best Colin. price. Hello? Hello? Colin? Yes, yes I've just removed the window on equating. When we equate to zero here, so when we put uh -huh. a zero here, one seventy minus ten Q. So this ten will come uh -huh. inside, all right, in the positive, and we remain with one seventy on this side. Oh, okay. So we divide by ten on both sides. We divide by ten on both sides. So this in there, we Q. This in there, we get remain at seventeen. So our our Q will be 17 and our price mm -hmm. is substituted back in the original here. On the formula. Oh, yeah. Okay. So now I want us to try. Price is got to 2000 minus 4Q. So I want us to participate. We will start with the, the total revenue. We'll get the total revenue. Total revenue is equal to what? Price times quantity. Price times uh, quantity. Price times quantity. Quantity. So what is our price? Two thousand minus what? Four Q. Four Q. Uh huh. What are we going to have? Please, as you enter, enter with your name so that I can we can interact. Sandra, yes. What infinix is uh, two thousand. Yes, two thousand. What? Two thousand. Two thousand Q minus four Q squared. Minus four Q squared. Excellent. So we have found the total revenue. Next, who wants to find the average revenue? Revenue. The average revenue it will be equal to TQ. Sorry, the T what well, the total revenue divided by the quantity. Divided by the quantity. Yes. Okay. The average revenue. So, uh, so we have the two thousand Q, we divide it by Q. And the 4Q four, four squared, we divide it by Q. Then we'll have 2,000 minus 4Q. Yeah, the average revenue is the same as the price. Yes. Okay. Next. We are finding the marginal revenue. Okay, how do we find the marginal revenue? Uh, we uh, we differentiate what? We differentiate the total revenue with respect to quantity. Well, can you differentiate this total revenue? What are we going to have? We have 2,000 uh -huh. minus 8Q. Minus 8Q, excellent. Then uh, A, the person named A, what's your name? How do we um, maximize or find the maximize revenue when MR is equal to zero? So here, just 2,000. Imagine our revenue is equal to zero. Oh, you've already written. Mm -hmm. So when we get it to zero, what are we going to have? Continue 2,000 should be what? 8Q. 
tensor for Q. We divide both sides by eight, even here by eight. What becomes our Q? Two fifty. Two fifty. Okay, our price was two thousand minus four Q. So where there's Q you put what? Two fifty. What are you going to get? One thousand. One thousand. Correct. So this is how we optimize. This is what we do when we are optimizing. All right. Okay. Now let's go to something else. Post theory. Post theory. And the post theory must understand that the total cost is a combination of the total fixed cost plus the total variable cost. So if you have a total cost of 40, uh, plus 5, 50Q, Plus five Q squared. Which one of this one is the fixed cost? The constant here. So our total fixed cost is what? 40, right? Mm -hmm. Anything divided by quantity is average. So if we divide the total fixed cost by Q, what would the name be called? Total fixed cost when you divide it by Q is equal to what? Average fixed cost. The T will just change it into what? An A. So we're going to have 40 over quantity. Total variable costs, what do we have? 50Q plus 5Q squared. That is the variable cost. The part that has what? A letter. So firms incur two kinds of costs. The costs that do not depend on output are called fixed costs. The costs that depend on output are called variable costs. So everything that has a letter is called the variable cost. When you divide it by Q, can somebody guess what we did record? When the value by Q, somebody guess what is it to code? Average variable cost. Average variable cost. So what we are average variable cost when you divide each one of them by Q? The 50 plus 5Q. Divide each one of them by Q. The code average variable cost. Right. The very total cost of 40 plus 50Q plus 5Q squared. If we differentiate it, what would it be called? Differentiate it, what will it be called? Marginal cost. Excellent. Marginal cost, yes. So, can somebody differentiate it for us? How do we differentiate it? DTC. Is it not D, the C over the Q? The TC over the Q. This is called marginal, marginal cost. So 
So what happens to the 40? It drops out. Here we're going to have what? 50. 50. The number, 50. And the first Q squared is going to go. 5Q. 10Q. So this is what we call marginal cross. All right. So the difference between total revenue minus the total cost brings in a new term called what? Profit. And the better that pi. If your total revenue is equal to the total cost, this is called the break even point. Then you're breaking even. If total revenue is more than the total cost, we're making a profit. Otherwise, we we'll make a loss. So graphically, total revenue looks like that. It's maximum at this point. And the total cost is a function which looks like that. So this is total revenue and this is total cost. The point where total revenue is more than the uh, total cost is called a profit. So this is a profit. Profit is in here. Any questions so far? And this is called the loss, where costs are more than the total revenue, these are called losses. But where they meet, these are called break-even points, meaning the profit is zero. So we started with our total revenue. Should we calculate? Colin. Yes, please. Colin, sorry, I want to go back to the graph, just a minute. The point where total so revenue the, is more than the cost, this is called the profit. The point where the total cost exceeds. The over, the over graph is the total revenue? Yes, this is the total revenue, yes. This is the total revenue. What about this straight line? It's just a point. The straight line? It's nothing, I'm just showing this is a maximum oh, point it. where revenue is maximized. It's a maximum point for revenue. All right? Oh. Mm -hmm. This is where margin revenue is zero. So the margin revenue is here. The point where margin revenue is zero, this is where profit is maximized. This is average revenue. So when margin revenue is zero, we are maximizing profit. So I'm just trying to explain that using a graph. So if we have our total revenue as 170Q minus 5Q squared, and our total cost we had was what? 40 plus 50Q plus 5Q squared. So profit is what? The difference between Total revenue minus the total cost. Always remember to put the total cost in brackets. So our total revenue is what? 40 plus 5Q squared. Our total revenue is not that. Our total revenue is what? 170Q minus 5Q squared. Then minus in brackets, the total cost is what? 40 plus 5Q plus 5Q squared. So here we're going to have 
one seventy Q minus five six squared minus forty minus fifty Q minus five Q squared. So here we're going to have one seventy Q. We arrange minus what? 50 q minus 5, five. q yeah. minus another 5 q squared minus 40. What are we going to have? This is 120. This is negative 10. This is 40 amount. So our profit becomes what? 120Q minus 10Q squared minus 40. So to maximize profit, we find the marginal profit as well. Anything differentiated and equated to zero, yeah, optimizing. So Marginal profit is when we differentiate the profit against the quantity. So 120Q becomes 120. 10Q squared becomes 20Q. The 40, because the constant, it will die out. So how do you maximize profit? The marginal profit must be equal to zero. How do you maximize the revenue? Marginal revenue must be equal to zero. Cost, we don't maximize the minimize. How do we minimize cost? The margin of cost must equal to zero. These are what we call optimization points. So here we're going to equate the margin of profit to zero to optimize, to find the highest price that will maximize your profit. All right, so we know that our price was what? 170. Minus five Q. Okay. Mm. Sorry, Colin. Uh -huh. Just a quick one. You said uh, marginal profit zero, marginal revenue zero. Okay. Marginal cost zero. Okay. So this is the optimal point. So this is this is at what point? Optimal point. Whenever we're optimization. Optimizing. Yes. Good optimization. Oh, okay. So now we want to equate this to zero to find what quantity and price will optimize profit. So profit we will establish is uh, something, something. At marginal profit, we just found that marginal profit is 120 minus what? 20 Q. So when we get it to zero here, we're going to have 120. 20 Q, and this on both sides, we have 20 Q is equal to 120. And we divide by 20 both sides, Q is equal to what? Six. When we put our six there, 